and he said, the Ashrick house. And of course, it was my house. <laughs> so I had to show him my mess. <laughs> but I did. And ever since, he has been coming back and uh, I guess enjoying the tours and, yeah, enjoying nice. California, yeah. California living. And like that, um, who can complain? Yeah. Yeah. My background is in newspapers. I've written quite about quite a lot about architecture. I currently write mostly for the Eichler uh, magazine. I wrote a history of Berkeley. I wrote a book about the history of the Bay Area architecture uh, and a few other books. In the 1930s for Los Angeles, and somehow or other somebody got the plans and they paid somebody some money and they built it here. So it's, a, it's the only Frank Lloyd Wright house in uh, Berkeley. And some people are saying, well, it's not really a Frank Lloyd Wright house. But anyhow, here we have another house by uh, our friend Walter Stylberg. It's quite the characteristic use of concrete. Houses like the ones we just walked by, those are your typical Berkeley brown shingle, first day tradition houses. When a lot of people think of Berkeley, that's the main thing. <coughs> a little bit about the design. I was fascinated by the design of an all glass house by Mies van der Rohe. And another one that I admired greatly was Charles Eames, who designed the Eames chairs. So, well, they're not here. Recent one, um, I grew marijuana in the house, which <laughs> made the, <laughs> yeah. a lot of marijuana, um, which made the house interesting from a reconstruction standpoint. There was um, some water damage, to say the least. <laughs> it does that when you grow things like marijuana inside your house. However, though, the goal was to really kind of bring the house back to its original state. So with that in mind, um, we had to do a lot of reconstruction. Um, for example, the atrium here, as you see, was actually covered because um, this was a, a prime growing area. There were skylights and what have you. So what we tried to do was really figure out, okay, how big was the atrium originally and bring it back to its original form, um, as well as the gardens on the side, which not only are great for gardening, but it's great for um, when, the, when it does rain, which is not very often here in California, as you probably have noticed. <laughs> but the water is it's actually um, tilted, so the water will actually go into the garden or right out the front door, typically. Mm -hmm. There's actually a little um, break up in the door in the bottom. The water is actually meant to go out the front door. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Uh, today, from the Native Americans, is welcoming all of you to our home. And thank you all for being here with us. And welcome to our Eichler, and an Eichler is just a great place where it just hugs you, kisses you, wraps around you. We live inside, we live outside. We have all kinds of families who live here, all kinds of older people, younger people, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful neighborhood. But you've left out that the Thunder God <laughs> Really likes to express himself. Here. <laughs> That's so right. You, you got you got you got a plate. Come on, give him the noise. Yeah, give him yeah, the... we did, we did that. Oh, you did. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, I was yeah, yeah, yeah. See. Yeah. <laughs> so this day special for us, and one of them is George Yamasaki. George is an what attorney <laughs> in San Francisco. He's a dear dear friend. Not only is he a wonderful immigration attorney but he plays fantastic jazz yeah. piano. So we've heard, yeah. 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 So we've heard. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, there are a tremendous amount of volunteers that have contributed to the lifestyle of the Eichlers in Marin County, and um, we're all grateful that you're here, and we're grateful we live in the Eichlers, and we're thrilled that you're you're here and seeing how much we are blessed and how grateful we are that we live in this beautiful place with some fantastic people. This gravi We gravitate towards um, our neighborhood and um, I'm so grateful that I have such a beautiful street to live on and know that all my neighbors always are concerned about each one of us, which is really why we are a wonderful community. So thank you. Even though I went to Harvard and grew up in Princeton, I'm an Ivy Leaguer with sea ranches. But I hate Sea Ranch. I know. See what your opinion is. It's yeah. famous, unduly infamous. But it's uh, why not, do you why do you hate it? It's just not a product, really, of California. It has, completely aside from the organic Frank Lloyd Wright or the Maybach, the mm -hmm. Berkeley movement, 
It's a strictly an import from fucking back east to a couple of, well, Larry Halperin was a key forcer who was okay. He was a friend of mine. I worked there once. It can be a really severe problem because it's, you know, low sun and reflects and, uh, uh, and there's, and so we went through all of the things we could think of to defeat that problem, you know, sun shades and green, uh, at that point, they didn't have these little fabric things that they have in the, um, um, now. And we went through everything we could think of for um, blocking, you know, making that. We finally realized there was only one solution, which is that you looked in another direction. And so every, how, every one of the units, except one, uh, that is facing the ocean has two outlooks. Okay, so. And then, of course, we wanted to uh, make it with materials from the place because this had been lumbering. Um, see, there weren't even trees up there. That was when the house was finished. And I'm sorry the sun isn't out because we really consider this our light box. When the sun is out, it's incredible with the sun and daylight coming in. And this, when it's really sunny, you sometimes have to block the sun. It's so intense, but I want to show you something. <laughs> We did this, we printed this photograph I took from way over there when the house was under construction. So it's all post and beam, just like the condominium where they just were. Um, the, part of the reason why there are two structures is because there are sea caves yeah. under here, um, which you can only see from across the cove, but um, we wouldn't be able to build over the sea caves. Or not this way, not with the not with the not with the caissons. Um, you could put something light, I guess, there, but not with these. Is, you know, this house is pretty deep um, foundation. I think so. Yeah. Well, 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 plus, there's also you're asking about what you know. There's. So this is the um, the outside of the house. This is an original 1890 mission, you know, sort of Europhilic uh, Edwardian. Um, sort of a poor copy of some of the better ones in the city. And we decided we bought it in 2000. Yeah, year 2000. Um, we bought it, and it, it had been on the market. It was a very busy market. Everyone was buying things and bidding and bidding. This house sat in the market for eight months. It was in such bad condition. It had these big black birds. <laughs> circling and no one wanted it so who would want it except a bunch of architects who was going to live in the studs and renovate it for the next 10 years and so we've been doing that one of the last project, parts of the project what we'll start our, our discussion here we expose this um, is the uh, 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 um, and it's all oh that should have been slowed down this is all recycled glass or uh, glass that's taken from projects that have a mismeasure or misuse so contractors donated all the glass and we figured out a way of just putting into a system of shelves kind of somewhere between bookshelves so it could accept any size and any shape and um, shingles so it allowed the larger pieces to come behind the other pieces so the glass is all shingled next to each other some of our local color and um, then you'll see every, every horizontal line has a an infill piece of wood that uh, is the same um, part of the